guys. It's got to be cut this air conditioned down. I'm in. I can't cut it off. Anyway, it is Wednesday. Will and I are getting ready to go grab some lunch. I'm not sure what I'm going to have. He gets Chick-fil-A and I will probably go somewhere else and get something. I'll try to take a picture of it for you. And then later on, I'm getting my roots done and I'm going to take you guys with me. So this is the before. It's not that bad. If I had to guess, I would say she might even put some dark back through it because there was so many highlights in it. But yesterday I did the hair video. So like if you wanted to today, you'd flip it over this way to really get that height. So I'm just sitting in my driveway with the electricity box. Okay, here comes Will. See you later. I see the geese right there they just flew in and they're swimming out there this is kind of like a little spot that I come to eat in the car <sighs> okay so you guys always want to know what I'm eating and today I got chicken salad chick I got a large bowl of the Olivia's Old South and I don't know if I'll eat it all but I'm like that. I want to know I have enough. And whatever I have left, I can take home. But here it is. It doesn't look like much, but it's just chicken, mayonnaise, the sweet pickles, and eggs in there. So it's keto friendly. And I didn't get any crackers, but they give you salt and pepper. So I have to have lots of salt and pepper. I really love barbecue potato chips with my chicken salad, but I know that that is not a thing I do anymore. And really, to be honest with you, I like it, but they end up giving me, they burn my stomach so bad when I eat potato chips. And the last, I would say that's happened in the last, you know, like five years or so. It's gotten to the point where I, I couldn't eat chips. So I'll put all the salt and pepper probably on this. Save some for after I eat off the top of it. And okay, so it's 2:10 and my hair appointment is at 3. So, and I usually like to stir this up. Let me show it to you again after I've stirred it. You can see I love the eggs in it. Oh, it's so good. And it's kind of, it's pretty pickly tasting too. Mm, I love like the big chunks of eggs. Okay. Okay, see you guys in a little bit. I don't want them to think I've got food because I've heard it's not good to feed geese and ducks people food. So I don't think they want the rest of my chicken salad. They always look so happy. Okay, I thought I would do a quick outfit of the day. 
That's what I got from my parents for my birthday. It says, the world is yours. Here we go, this is better. It does like this. I don't know if you can see that, like mm -hmm. that tone. Okay, so go ahead and say what colors that you use. Okay. Because the supply store is slim pickings these days, mm -hmm. and some days they have got what I need, and some days they just don't have anything. Um, they were out of the eight level eight that we always use. They did have a level seven, and they had a level ten N. So I bought them both, and what I did was about a third of the seven to two thirds, I'm not even math, to two thirds of the 10 
because the 10 obviously is um, less of an intense. Seven's gonna be darker, seven's gonna be more intense. I didn't want to darken you, okay? Um, because we kind of talked about maybe doing like a shade lighter, I used more of the 10 anyways. Mm -hmm. So it probably would end up being about an eight and a half. Mm -hmm. Yes, and with the N in there, and then what tag did you use? I did, which is also gonna be hard to believe because of what you look like. I did a nine VRO, which is a nine V, like rose. And actually, why don't I show you the swatch? Because it's funny. Okay. Is it Only because when you put something that sounds like it's going to be pink on your hair, but it's just a tiny so you're not going to come out pink. is a softer it's like a softer than like a like a like almost like a I don't know if you can see here it's like it yeah. kind of softens that like so you're toned a little bit but you're not ashy you know yeah it keeps it bright yeah the V by itself oh. sometimes is a little V mm -hmm. you know like mm -hmm. a little bit too much But I only, I, I put it on wet hair and I, I diluted, like I let her hair like be wetter than I normally would mm -hmm. because I don't want to suck it up. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's definitely more of a diluted kind of version of it. And I didn't leave it on the full 20 minutes. I probably left it on what, five minutes yeah. just to get it in there. Yeah. Just a little bit. Okay. Oh, okay, I can, mm -hmm. I can eat it now. Let's see that time. Yeah. Instead of just looping it all over hair, I want to kind of do it in uh, sections. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I know. I feel like that. So I don't know if you're basically doing this. I'm going to it out a little bit. I saw this the other day where in sections and kind of the paint, like, kind of the colors just go a little bit wrong, uh -huh. so you're not looping it all through yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He said the underneath curls are pretty good. Yeah. Especially I'm not going to do too much here, but... Okay, so I'm out in the car. I'm leaving like this. She put some Amica. Um, I think it, I don't know if it was curl cream or whatever, but if I end up liking it, I will find out what it is. And I got her to tell you the colors that she used on my hair, but I will probably mute the rest just because I don't know. I think I don't. I think there was music on, plus the privacy of other people and stuff like that. But, um, so I, I haven't looked at my footage that I got, but I hope it's good. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, it's Lisa. And yesterday I did a vlog on my hair color and I took you with me and she explained what color she used and everything. And then you watched her apply the products in my hair. So I wanted to, I'm getting ready to make another video, but I wanted to add this to the end of that video so that you could see, 
and of course the landscapers are here and I can't I just can't avoid it because now that I'm making videos every day if I don't make it now I can't make it later because I won't have time to edit it so anyway please excuse the landscapers but did you notice that she brushed all of my hair out first then she applied very carefully she twisted it she did all this stuff to put the hair products in my hair well you see this is what you get if you brush it out it's and, and you may like it you may like it you may think that my hair is too dreadlock looking or something the other way but i wanted to go ahead and show you this so that you could see one you could see my hair color that she used which i love it i love that it's still light it toned it down a little bit the toner that she told you and it gave me it covered my gray roots but it gave me just a little bit of dark blonde rootiness. I just wanted to show you like the finished product. And so many of you in my vlog video about my hair told me so many suggestions like a hair towel, um, a few products. And I'm going to try those because that's something that I want to try for us. So I'm going to be trying new hair products. A lot of you asked about the Wow Curl Spray. I still love that. I think it works. A couple people kind of freaked me out about not using it too much, but I think that they're talking about the Dream Coat. I don't think there's anything in that Wow Curly Spray that is going to build up or make your hair break off. Let me know what you think about that down below. When I read the ingredients, I was like, mm, I don't think they're talking about this. I know the Dream Coat you're not supposed to use every time, but the Wow Curl Spray said you could use it every time. So anyway, watch that video if you haven't already. But I truly think the key to the funkiness and the most body and everything else is not brushing it out. Brush it out before you get in the shower. I even think that's better than brushing it out in the shower. I think the best is to brush it out good before you get in the shower and then let it go. Now, Morgan has told me that my hair doesn't tangle very easy. She said some people's, I've seen her like, you know, like when she's alternating a little bit and she's combing out someone's hair and she's like literally having to go piece by piece. Mine's just not like that. It pretty much just combs right out. So that is something to keep in mind. We're just all so different, you guys, in every aspect of anything that I tell you. We're so different. So whatever I say, you take it and, you know, modify it for you. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for going with me yesterday. And Morgan actually is getting her own room. So then I'll be able to like record us. You know what I mean? Like in more real time. Yesterday I had to kind of speed it up because I didn't want to like catch other people's conversations. And you know what I mean? Pretty soon we'll be able to do like some more in-depth hair tutorial. She's really good at it. And so thank you again for being there and I will see you soon.